Things are changing in Spain. The new years brought storms to the Costa del Sol. And there are new rules for British citizens living here or wanting to. It's been a Christmas odyssey from Warrington to Malaga for lifelong friends Jan and Sonia, who arrived days before the Brexit transition period ended. They're now living together with their husbands and five pets. It can be enough to make us fall out forever, couldn't it? Yes, well, <laughs> we've not. I think it forced our hands certainly with putting up the houses for sale Same. and making that decision. It's a big decision. And are you going to give everything up at home to come and do this? And we did a lot of talking and a lot of thinking about this. For anyone arriving here now as a British citizen, there are some big differences to consider. For tourists, you can stay here up to three months in a six month period. You can't just come and go as you please. If you're coming here to live, you must be earning at least £24,000 a year or have the equivalent in the bank. And British driving licences must be changed for Spanish ones. I never thought the UK would ever leave the UK. Eric Anderson, an ex-shipyard worker from Newcastle, has a second home in Lanzarote. Covid rules means he can't travel at the moment. When he can, it'll be for a much shorter period. I feel a bit badly let down because this is not something out of the blue. We, we paid a mortgage for 20 years to, to have a holiday home and it's just not going to be possible now. It's, it's pretty sad really. The small town of Marchena, near Seville, is where Tracy and her family have made their home. She left Hereford 16 years ago. My husband's Spanish, uh, my son Santi is Spanish and, and British, and if we ever wanted to move back to the UK as a family, I would be able to. I imagine Santi would be able to take out a British passport, so it wouldn't be a problem, but Enrique, um, who's a builder, would need to fit in either with the minimum income or the points-based system, which makes it almost impossible for us ever to live in the UK again. The latest edition of Euro Weekly, a newspaper for Brits living on the coast. The paper's owner says the deal will have a profound effect on so many lives. Pensioners have been quite happy living off the pension, a little bit of savings, having the menu del dia feeling like it's a bit like Little Britain. Jo Broggs, he's been coming here for 32 years. She's got a little van, he does a few removals, he does a bit of handiwork. It's all been part of our landscape. Now, no, you've got to make a decision. You're either in one camp or the other camp. The storm passes and so too the era of easy travel to Spain. British people are no longer the biggest buyers of property on this coast. The Brexit effect is reshaping its population. Gavin Lee, BBC News, on the Costa del Sol.